Okay, so this is a video about Starlink and it going public. Is this gone public? This had IPO. So, I wanted to speak on why it would be a very good idea. Why well, I think it's a good idea to be part of that, of that, uh, that entire business. Because, let me tell you, Elon Musk, first of all, has the best engineers in the world. People want to work for that company because they're part of the future. They're part of what the future is going to be, okay? And... Because they're part of that, people want to work for this company because they're great. They want to work for SpaceX first, then they want to work for Tesla, then they want to work for someone else and someone else. But in, if you're an engineer in America, you want to work for SpaceX, then you want to work for Tesla, then you want to work for anyone else. Everyone else is all third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way down. Okay? Now, SpaceX... It's the only one out there who's doing reusable launching satellite technology. They're able to reuse their rocket boosters. They land them. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's really the only logical way to do it, obviously. And I don't see why it wasn't done sooner. But, yeah. It makes logical sense using st the... The stainless steel, real one, butted, I don't know, something like that. Um, using stainless steel because it's thermal resistance. Now, I've heard of a compound using, um, you can make a fireproof compound that works off a reaction base system, which you could use for a lightweight coating instead of ceramic tiles, which I don't know if it would work or not. But use like baking soda and some other shit. Elmer's glue and there's some other thing that is in, as it heats up, it creates a, it off gases and creates a layer of protection, which keeps us, keeps whatever is protecting thermally insulated with really good technology. So, yeah. But it probably would burn up, burn off pretty quickly. But you could make it thicker. Anyways, back on topic. Why SpaceX? SpaceX is the best. First of all, they have reusable rocket technology. They're launching tons and tons of satellites into orbit. They are the number one go-to launch company if you want to launch something in space you go and you go to SpaceX okay that's it that's what you do and so SpaceX has this good reputation with NASA and all the other companies out there you know the other big leaders of space industry out there Jeff Bezos isn't gonna stand a chance against against uh, SpaceX just, just not going to stand a chance. He's just... He stands no chance of winning. He, d he doesn't have a winning model. Doesn't have reusable rockets. Can't do it cost effectively. He's spending way too much money. Granted, he has more money to spend. But he's not doing it the cost effective way. And therefore, he is a dinosaur. And we do not promote dinosaurs on here. He just spent $180 million on... a. Beverly Hills Mansion. He's lost his mind with love. So, yeah. He's fading quickly. So, there you go. Anyways. The thing is that and also, he knows that Bernie Sanders is probably going to become the president, is what he's thinking. So he's wanting to buy, 
expensive items right now and could sell it later. But, and he's dumbstruck with love and doing whatever his new wife wants him to do. But, anyways, yeah. SpaceX, well, SpaceX gets shit into space cheaper than anyone's out there and has a reusable model. Okay, so they're getting into space and getting shit up there for nothing. And, and guess what happens? Guess what happens when they have a low latency, low, low orbit satellite cluster? Granted, you need a lot of satellites to make this work, but guess what? Guess what they can do? They can reuse their, ro their rocket boosters reuse all their shit and get shit into orbit for next to no cost. So they're going to get this shit up and running. And then guess, guess who's going to have the biggest tap, the biggest tap of information of all time, bigger than Google, bigger than anyone else. That's right, folks. It's Tesla. Tesla is not just, not just a, a tech company, Tesla, SpaceX, all of Elon Musk, everything Elon Musk has to do with is dominating the markets and bringing on the future changes that are necessary for a thriving world that will not be reset by the ones who are coming. So, if we don't do what is right, then we're going to be fucked, but... If we fucking do the best thing and uh, we keep on trusting in the way of Elon Musk, okay? Obviously, all of his ideas, all of his companies are done the best way possible and has the best possible outcome because of his strive, because of him. Because of who he is and the message that he pushes. Okay. And so it's really quite amazing to see all this unfolding and you know, especially when you when you know the the history of the world and you know the history of all the timelines of all the different universes that are most likely to happen. And it's quite amazing to see it all happening here in real life. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm glad to be part of it. Glad to be part of the gang gang. Glad to be part of the entire world. This entire simulation. Because it's amazing. And I love it here. And I'm a fucking worn out, a worn out old 1980s fucking superhero okay <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time I'm fucking washed I'm a washed out actor okay I'm doing the best I can <laughs> doing the best I fucking can with the life I got okay now if you want to hire me SpaceX anyone out there you know I'm probably a really good person to have on your team because I have all sorts of ideas from your cyber truck to ex shortening the overall length of the truck without short shortening the distance, the, you know, the size of the bed. That's a good one that I have. So you could shorten the length of your cyber truck without shortening the length of the bed. Basically, you bring it in. But, yeah, I have that idea. I have ideas for your old, your old uh, train of uh, bullet train idea that you had that you could say you could go 1200 miles an hour I have an idea for that for the uh, the fans the the vent fans on the front side of it you'd have fans that well the the, the, the most important thing about the fan I did, that I have is that as the train passes through the blades don't need to switch directions to to change the pitch so you have gears on there so you could just switch from um switch the pitch so it has teeth on the inside of the of the shaft and this whole the whole blade can go like that so it can it can change the pitch 
without having to change the, the spin. So as it's spinning to the left, it never has to stop spinning to the left. It can always just maintain full power and then just tr switch the, its blades the other way and make the air shoot out. So what you can do is make a big motor, basically, and as a train passes through, you can switch the fans from from sucking to blowing on the back end without having to stop it and then turn up spin it the other way because that's that's kind of the issue when you could cause a lot of torque damage to those and yeah but with this you just switch it however it does it slow really slowly perfectly and yeah it would work much better for that bullet train, but I think you've kind of abandoned that idea, but maybe you haven't. I don't know. But, I mean, guys, after you have came up with your Tesla that could ride in the tunnel, you know, you don't really need a bullet train at that point, because then you can just go up to the surface and not have to have a train at all. So, that's, that's pretty crucial. But, yeah. Anyways, that was an idea for that. I have tons of ideas for SpaceX and Tesla. Like, um, you know, I was, was noticing when you were doing the welding on the, on the Starship that you're uh, not hardening the welds. So, that caused weld failure. And I saw that you finally got an x-ray machine to inspect your, well... You got a ability to inspect your welds. So, either way, whatever type of imaging you're using, doesn't matter. Better quality, you get the best quality out there. All right, but, uh, yeah. So, now, this company that has all the cars out there, which is definitely a software company which is like in comparison to Apple if not better than Apple because with he has a product that is delivered to you that is cheaper than most things out there it's better quality and you pay for extras you can pay for boost you pay for turbo upgrades to go quicker you know, you can you can pay for all this stuff monthly subscriptions. All there's monthly subscriptions on here. People do it. It's a tech company. It's monthly subscription base. Okay. And the tech is awesome because people love it. So now you have this this car company which has this awesome fucking space company that has reusable rockets and the best technology in the field. Okay, has the best engineers in the world because the best engineers in the world want to work for this company that is part of something bigger than themselves, something much more grandiose than the regular everyday existence. Okay, so they have the cream of the crop. It's all risen straight to the top. Okay, I never eat a pig because a pig is a cop. I bet he got a Terminator like Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, they try to play me out like if my name was Sega. All right. But yeah. Anyways, I had to get that out of my system. Um, yep. They're going to have all the information. Every every person all around the whole world will be able to connect to a low latency internet. People in rural areas will have faster internet than people in cities. People all around the world are going to be using this service they're not going to use anyone else because why would you pay more <laughs> you're not going to be willing to pay more okay and once there's universal basic income implemented every single one of elon musk's businesses everything that he has designed in is a consumer product it's bottom line for the good of humanity for the good of the people for what is best for the development of the world, okay? And all these products are consumer products. And that's why that's why he's pro Andrew Yang because Andrew Yang is pro consumer. 
because the consumer the consumer's job is going to be taken away with automation okay it's happening all around Bernie Sanders plan to raise a minimum wage of $15 an hour is only going to make it worse and make the automation sweep the nation much quicker. Every fast food chain overnight is going to fucking switch to fully automated and have every reason for doing it. And it's just going to make everything worse. And there's not going to be any jobs left. You'll be doing a, f a government job crushing some rocks some stupid shit anyone could fuck any robot could do why just to dominate your life anyways um uh, yeah <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be a crazy fucking future but I know one thing that SpaceX is the best company for getting shit into space. That has a, the cheapest rates, has the best technologies, far ahead of the, the market above anyone else in the entire ball game. Same thing with Tesla, because you know why it's the best engineers in the world, it's the smartest, brightest people. And granted, if they had me, they'd have someone there who's equally as important as they are. Equally as intelligent, maybe probably more intelligent than most people who work there. But anyways, I'm not gonna fucking toot my own horn too much. That just destroys my karma. But some sometimes I have to fucking do it. So, yep, I'm gonna do it here on my channel. So you're here watching me on my channel. So that's that. I love you anyways. <laughs> but yeah. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And we're going to, they're going to have all the data in the world is going to be flowing through this company. They already have all all the art, all the self-driving data from all the Teslas that are driving around. They they've collected more data than pretty much anyone else. They they're operating in China. Tesla's operating in China in Shanghai. GM, Ford, they all only own 50% of the stake or whatever. While Tesla owns 100% of what they have in, in Shanghai. You know why? Because they don't, Shanghai didn't, doesn't care. In China, they don't care about, they don't care about a regular f car manufacturer. But you know what they, what they care about? Artificial intelligence. They care about Tesla. You know, there's more people who watched uh, art a artificial intelligence program beat the world's best player in the game Go, or whatever the fuck it's called. More people watch that than they watch the, the the Super Bowl in America. Okay, so this is much more important than to them than anything else, and that's just why they own a hundred percent of their company in in Shanghai because Shanghai is just honored. To have them honored, absolutely honored to have them their in, in existence over there. And guess where all the fake money is? It's all in China. It's all getting printed over there. It's getting mass produced. That's where all the boom boom expansions at. So, what the fuck's gonna happen? They're about to be mass producing Model 3s over in China. Elon Musk is gonna make a fortune. And the Chinese are going to make a bunch of cars out of it. And they're all going to be driving the, the best technology because they produce our $100 bills. They mass produce our $100 bills on our printing presses and make their own money. And feed all their people their this, this, this money. And Elon Musk is going to absorb some of that good money. Some of that perfect counterfeited money super bills and he's, but it's all going to be clean obviously it's going to be clean but you're about to see a major boom a major boom rate for t tesla because of this money because of the market and opening up gigafactories there's about to open multiple gigafactories in china 
Okay, it's not just not just gonna be just one. It's not gonna be stopping at one. There's t infinite amounts of money there because of counterfeit super bills. Okay, so we're about to see all of Elon Musk companies go to the roof, and no amount of real money here in the United States will ever beat the counterfeit super bills and the fake money in, of China, because China's got this down pat. Okay, so what's happening is our economic value is being destroyed. So that's why he's also pro Andrew Yang. He's pro fucking Andrew Yang too. Anyways, he's about to have all the most important things in life locked down where you get your information through what car you drive your ability to, to drive a car okay everything's gonna be locked down but it's for the best it's for the advancement of this world okay because people aren't gonna be driving fucking two-ton death machines around or three-ton death machines you know <laughs> They're not going to be doing it in the future. It's just not going to be there. It's not going to be a thing. <laughs> it's going to be driving itself. You're not going to have any input on it. And that's I me. Mean, that that's why I want my my Tesla Cybertruck right now, because I'm going to drive that bitch till the day it dies to a million miles. So, if you want to hire me on your company, Elon Musk, if you're watching this or anyone associated. I also make a gold magnet, okay? It's a gold magnet. It um, uses uh, uses the lens effect to induce eddy currents into gold and makes a tor toroidal flow towards the center, all spinning electromagnets spinning up towards the center of a toroidal donut shape. And they're all spinning up towards the center. Really quickly, you know, not like this. But yeah. And you can basically lift up gold, aluminum, brass, any metals. Any metals at all. And uh, yeah. Pretty important shit here. It's from the future. You know, we're just a mining civilization. We're, we're giants. We're making shit. Sending into space. We're sending fucking giant pieces of... Equipment into space. Perfect for harvesting. Yep. Massive environments. Think about that. Humans pumping shit into space. Livable, breathable atmospheres. Places to stay in. And think about this. We are the giants, okay? The other people, really small. A couple inches tall, six inches. Okay? Those are the ones who, who created us. Why do they create us? So we can make giant living facilities that can evacuate their entire planets. Okay? That's what we're here to do. We're here to ensure the survival of all of species around the world and that's why we have to work that's why they always want us working but we're not trying to work in a dumb way we're trying to work and sm work smarter not harder okay that's what it's all about it's not about working fucking in a dumb way okay so we're mining civilization here and we're gonna send shit into space Perfect environments that can be towed wherever. Who does who does it better than uh, SpaceX? No one. Yep. Anyways, good job everyone. Keep up the good work. Whether you know it or not, you work for me. Okay. So I hope you know that I love you all and. I want you to have a good time here, and I want you to enjoy your existence in this game. 
and enjoy your life as much as possible. Don't trust what anyone has to fucking tell you. Most people don't even, aren't even playable characters in this game. And yet they have equal voice to everyone, but that's the way of the simulation, okay? So, just know I love you all, and I want what's best for everyone. And I'm going to keep that, I'm going to make that the end of the video here. So, until next time, like, share, subscribe, talk some shit down in the comment section. Come get into a battle with me in the comment section. I'm down with it. So, bring it on. Anytime, anywhere. Bring it on in the comment section below. Yeah, I love you all. Hope you all have a great day. And a spectacular evening. And a glorious weekend. And a fabulous month. And an even better year. And may the rest of your life be filled with wonderful joys. And splendid abundance. Adios. Bye-bye.